Now, if that isn't Friday happy hour music, what really is? Okay. Welcome back to Daily Wrap. This, of course, is yay or nay. First up, we're always hearing about the importance of sleep and taking afternoon naps. But it seems as though getting your seven or eight hours a night or slipping away for 20 minutes in the middle of the day is easier said than done. Well, one Midtown Manhattan spa has a solution to all that, the Yellow Cabin. For just one dollar an hour, you heard me right, nappers can relax in a zero-gravity reclining chair with blackout drapes and an eye mask. Nappers can also choose either complete darkness or from a variety of different colored lights to help set the mood. Three questions, everybody. Is this the answer for 70 million Americans suffering from sleep disorders? Would you go and would you bring a date? Carl Higby. <laughs> That's a yes. <laughs> yeah, that's but a his yes. thumbs up because that works well when beer. Where do I get one of those chairs too? Tremendous for a dollar, Lisa. You I can't know. go wrong. No, Jesus. you can't. But I, I don't really sleep, so I would say no. I couldn't do it on demand. I would say no. I want to know what a zero gravity, whatever the hell that is. I, I fall asleep in five that's seconds. A very good. Really? What's zero gravity? Yeah. I don't you're, know. Quickly, though, you're a businessman. How do you make money on that's, one dollar? Yeah, I think I think it's a front for something going on in the back. Really, it's the new acorn. A mafia thing? <laughs> or <laughs> I'm not going to cast any aspersions. Okay, but I do hear the odds are pretty good at those tables. Interesting. Mm -hmm. The only two words coming to mind right now in this little head: happy ending. <laughs> are you a young, attractive, fit male? Like Carl, in the Dallas area looking for a job? Well, you're in luck, Tallywhackers, or the male. Hooters is currently hiring. Look at the pictures. It seems like the wait staff will have to do topless and wear red aprons. So if that's your thing, the restaurant is set to open in May. That's only 30 days away. Spring break in Dallas next year for you, Lisa. Yay or nay? Uh, I would say yay. Is it coming to New York? <laughs> we actually did this for Heather Hansen, and she couldn't <laughs> make it to the studio. Yeah. 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 I say nay. Okay, Carl, oh, not come going. on, Carl. The tips are great, man. You're going to yeah, love working yeah. there. No. Come on, man. I get to sit I next to you all the time. Well, that's, <laughs> I only will go there if Carl's working. All right. Okay. Deal. It. Done and done. Right. I'll go with the what I'll get the fireman said. calendar out. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, whoever said pot smokers are lazy clearly never met this Australian go getter. Police in Murdoch, Australia, wow, they named a city after Merc uh, Rupert now, good for him, tweeted out this photo of a pot smoker's very important to do list, which includes reminding him to wake up and get ready, buy a bus ticket, walk to the bus stop, catch the bus, <laughs> and of course, get a stick and get stoned, among other things. Is this list an in-depth look into the mind of a pot smoker <laughs> and a former one being you, Rick Unger, <laughs> yay or nay? Can we get this on Hold camera? You're What's it? the point of the gag if you don't shoot it? Uh, no nay, I air. wouldn't know anything about that. No, that mm -hmm. was terrible. Fascinating. Uh, this kid is from California, smoked. right? <laughs> <laughs> Ohio, but we the, had it there too. Okay. The, this well, kid really is doing this on the air. This is a first. Yeah. Take that, Fox, CNN, and MSNBC. Yeah. <laughs> Who does that? Well, I, I don't think I've ever seen that before. This kid has smoked you. acres of weed, and this is Which the kid? This kid <laughs> who made that. Oh, list. that kid. Yeah. So oh, I thought you were referring to yourself as a third person. Oh no, not me. I've actually never smoked weed, so. Um, God, you're dull. I know, exactly. <laughs> Sorry. Well, I'm going to go work at that place. Yeah, so you'll be, be a lot <laughs> better if you work at Thud Whackers. <laughs> yeah, tally whackers. Well, well, let's, let's stay on you for a yeah. moment then, since you've never done it before. And right. besides, we're Should now, so. it be <laughs> legal? Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, when I ran for Congress, I said, you know, legalize it. But, you know, I still wouldn't smoke it if it was legal. Yeah. Um, because I think it's such a minuscule crime, and you know, they've had all these studies that say it's not as bad as drinking. And uh, you know, I've never seen anybody go smoke a bunch of pot and get into a fight. I see people right. go get drunk and get into fights all the time. Mm -hmm. Carl's so, a good libertarian. Yeah, I mean. But don't you become listless and just kind of, you know, this guy yeah, has to write a list just to go to. 51% of our population is on it handouts anyway, so. Got to make it all political. But there's yeah. also, there's also these, the studies yep. that Had link to. it to going into other dr other drugs and so forth. So let people be idiots. Yeah. I've never I, bought that. I, I you know what? Know. People who and do other drugs probably will smoke a joint in the same way that somebody who becomes an alcoholic had a drink. You know what it I worry about? doesn't mean if you have a drink, you become an alcoholic. What no, I worry no. about is the fact that more and more teens are texting and driving, and then well, you get them high at terrible. the same time. You can't. Or we drunk. shouldn't be giving one more reason to, to escape Arnold reality in society. Did it, so it's got to be good. Oh well, he makes a good point. <laughs> Carl, thanks so much for being here tonight. You got big plans tonight. We really appreciate you coming in. Lisa, a pleasure as always. Ricky Younger, have a good weekend. You too. Stay off the bong. And this is Joe Concha <laughs> saying, see you Monday at seven. Bye bye.